Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, get me an opportunity, she gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure, she has been confident, and that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. Amanda Nunes under the lights. Steps into the octagon, and this time she wants to leave with the belt. to know she's the champ because when you look at her she has that star ability about her and even though she has that all of it's rooted in her fighting ability she is one of the best the octagon's ever seen and i do think she could be a double champion but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation she is focused on the task in front of her tonight the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> third man in the octagon for this one. So here's Amanda Nunes back for more. She can mix it up with any Bantam weight in the world, but believes she has some striking advantages in this particular matchup here tonight that she can take advantage of. Let's see if Nunes follows up on those fight weak words and puts them into action tonight. Oh, she's hurt. She misses with the left punch there. Nunez going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Beautiful leg. Nice hook lands by Arroyo. A little bit of extra sauce on that one as well. She felt like she'd be able to get inside and did a nice job to close the distance there. Well, she knew that if she threw it, she had to throw it with intent. That was with intent and landed with a lot of impact. So more output, at least in the early going. Takedown defense holds up. 
So the newly minted Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Caitlin Chukagian, showing off that footwork in the jab here early. Yeah, you know, she is a grappler, and she has developed in that skill. But what makes Caitlin Chukagian special is her ability to move around the octagon effortlessly and fight behind that beautiful jab. She is a high-level boxer, and it has shown throughout her UFC career. Nice straight right hand. Keep your hands up. Use your floor. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Oh, nice. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Jab snaps the head back. Lands a big elbow there. Chukagian gets caught by that straight punch there. Lands a nice leg kick. 25 total strikes have landed for the Lioness Amanda Nunes. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Looked like maybe she was going to set up the sidekick, and there it is. She did a good job of getting that foot up and right to the target. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Nunes. Just over two minutes to go. a jab there. All right, so just the way she drew it up in our fighter meeting on Thursday, Amanda Nunes really showcasing her striking here tonight in this match. And it's her calling card. People forget that Amanda Nunes is also a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt because she's so good in stand-up. But when you can fight in the way that she has tonight, why would you want to grapple? She has been so dominant in the striking tonight that when she goes back and watches this, they're going to throw a party in the Nunes house. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Chukagi. That's good defense to get that guard up. Let's go, you can do this. Yeah. Ooh. Under a minute now to go. So her calf now starting to show some real signs of bruising, DC. And that only works because her lead leg is her opponent's lead leg. It's the split stance. It's two conventional fighters, so that kick is available to her. She lands a nasty high kick. Nice shot there by the champ. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Let's go. 30 seconds in the round. Well, seemingly, even when she gets her hands up, a lot of these strikes are getting through, and looks like... Oh, oh she's in a world of trouble now! Final seconds of round one! Oh, big elbow. Five minutes in the books. All right, so she survives to hear the final horn. What a round it was, and of course that knockdown midway through nearly got her out of there. Almost got her the finish, but now she needs to reset, get ready to go back forward, and try and secure a finish without forcing anything. It's very key that she does not get greedy. Go back and sit down at the table. Let it be said. Be patient. Have the first course, have the second course, and on the third course, the main course, find your finish. Caution, flammable. That horn signifies the end of the round, and quite frankly, after that knockdown with a head kick, I didn't think we'd get here. It's a merciful horn. We're happy to hear the horn because she was getting brutalized. She was getting beat up to the body, but the big moment was when her opponent took the kick high and knocked her down. Oh, beautiful slip and counter there by Newton. Nice, sneaky head kick. 
Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Body shot there. Chukagin's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Oh, nice kick. Well, she ain't cocky, but she is confident, and why not? Big knockdown in the previous round. She appears to have the strike move. She's doing everything right. That's what led her to getting that knockdown to finish earlier rounds. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets longer. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike. Right? It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back. And she could do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as an I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Blonde fighter gets back up here. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. All right, so she attacks the body yet again, and now you really see those bruises, Daniel, starting to accumulate. Well, she did everything to do that, and she was able to stay the course. Even when something got blocked, even if something got defended, she never changed the way that she attacked. It's beautiful to watch a person so rooted in the game plan, and that game plan paying dividends. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage getting between rounds, and then try to reset. Because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Let's get some points. Let's get that takedown going. 90 seconds now in round two. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage. Thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. You can feel the breeze there. Swinging a miss by Chukagi. Under a minute now to go. Oh, man, it is the weapon that has changed the game, and she lands another bruising calf kick there. Another bruising calf kick. She's an amazing fighter. She knew what she wanted to do, and she has gotten it done to this point. She's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moving. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there.
So there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. All right, she is back to the stool, but dealing with a really big cut on the bridge of her nose. She has eaten jabs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, she's taken far too many shots to the nose. Big shots, devastating shots. And now she is wearing it. She's got a cut on her nose, and she's having to deal with the blood, and still her opponent trying to take her head off. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high-level action continues. Both women have a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, huge kick to the leg. It's a no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's going to be on that cut and attacking that cut. Great defense from her back. She is so dominant from the top position. Oh, big, big shots here. Nunez getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Big elbow there, Lance. Nicely done. Chukagian's back in full mount. Oh. She's moving her head pretty good on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these shots. Oh, and how about that? They make their way back to the feet. Crowd going crazy. What a moment for these two athletes. The crowd is losing their mind. While they like the grappling, they love a good stand-up fight. Big shot there. There, DC, the seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent her bash. Striking has been great tonight, rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the first. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This would look like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she needs to go all out to try to finish the fight. All right, let's see if she can get back to the hook here. Of course, she'll need a setup here, work off of the jab, and punctuate her combination with that patented hook. Just over two minutes to go in the round. She put everything into that one, now has her opponent on the ropes. She threw her entire body into that massive uppercut, and she has seen the rewards of her hard work. So she's holding on to it, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. All right, well, if you like blood, this is the fight for you. She is absolutely mastered, and at least in that eye area, hard to think that she can see much now. Yeah, she can't see much. There's no way her vision is clear. She has been beat up, she's been battered. Now she's going into survival mode. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here. She's landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Oh, look at that. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she stands. That'll do it! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight.
Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 55 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Caitlin All right, so she will head home the way she arrived as the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion as she gets it done by now.